Alright, so today we're going to be restoring a Normandy Special. Now what is a Normandy Special? It's pretty much a normal wooden Normandy, but the bell is actually um, not wood. It's usually a composite resin sort of material, similar to what you would find in a Vito, perhaps. So Normandy Specials were priced and ranked kind of in between a plastic uh, basically between a plastic Normandy and a wooden Normandy, naturally, because it's not all wood. Although, for all intents and purposes, it is, because the rest of it's all wood, except the except the bell, which arguably doesn't do a thing. So, first thing I always do with these things uh, is I always like to start with the, uh, the logo. I'm the logo, man. That's what I love to do. So, it's pretty simple. You just uh, take a needle. And you just kind of go at it. You pick out the old because when you um, when you're putting in new gilding into a logo, you want it to sink as deep as possible into the older um, the original engraving. So you want to pick out the old stuff and all the junk that's in there, all the gunk. And once it's nice and picked out, and nice and deep, we can continue. Great, so we have successfully uh, taken out all the gunk out of the logo, so let's gild this bad boy and see what happens. You take your Krylon 18 karat gold leafing pen and you shake that thing right up. Shake it pretty hard. And you're all set. So, here's what you're going to do. You're going to straight up apply some of the gold to the logo directly. Blur it in. Like so. So once you have this thing nice and colored in, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the excess. Now this is why you had to get the uh, stuff really deep inside the logo because you um, basically have to wipe off the excess and the deeper the logo is, the less likely you are to uh, end up removing the stuff from the logo itself. So you take some Ethyl rubbing alcohol. It's got to be ethyl. I found that isopropyl does not work as well. 70% is a good amount. More, maybe better. And then you just uh, go ahead and wipe off the excess. Do it gently, not too hard. Uh, just kind of gently go over it, getting, making sure you get all the excess. It may take more than one piece of paper, but that's all right. I have a lot of this stuff. And at this point, you're pretty much good to go. You may see that there is a little bit of residual stuff in some of the grain. You can easily take your needle and just pick that right on out. After you've done that, look at this. You have a beautiful eye-popping Normandy logo. All right, so we uh, check out the corks. And the corks actually look just fine, so I'm not gonna mess with them. Um, unless I'm doing it for a client, uh, you know, sometimes I won't replace the cork because if it's fine, it's a waste of time taking them off and spending the hour it takes to put them back on. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to take the same part and, uh, yeah, straight up take it apart. So, you just, uh, take your screwdriver, find a screw and just unscrew it and you just take it off. And you're just going to do this for every single, uh, key. You're just going to take off. Unscrew the screw and just take it off. All right, so we're going to, uh, we've taken off the keys. We've uh, put in a new logo. So now we, we are going to oil the wood here. And I used to use a sock for the oil, but now I just use a piece of paper because I'm ran out of socks. Anyhow, what I use here is almond oil. It's hard to see, but this is 100% pure and natural almond oil. Um, Prunus amygdalis from Spain. It's expeller pressed and it's from uh, sunpurebotanicals.com. It's real good stuff. Any kind of almond oil uh, I think is usually the best. Lemon oil is good too, but for some reason I just like almond oil. It seems to soak in better. Has a, you know, just generally easy to work with, which is what I like about it. Unlike lemon oil, which kind of sticks around for for a good bit of time, this stuff goes right in, and it's really not that uh, not that oily when it you know gets on things. So it's pretty great. I take a piece of paper, toilet paper as usual, and uh, some of this oil on it, and you just wipe it on the uh, 
the instrument, like so. Once you've finished applying oil, uh, you basically just put it aside and let it soak in. Overnight is good, or just however long it takes. After you have polished all the keys, uh, you just put them right back on the clarinet. I saved you the tedium of having to watch me do that, but the idea is you just uh, put the keys back on with that uh, screw block you put your original screws and rods into to help you keep track of what's going on. And you are all set, so you put your keys back on, you've oiled the wood, you've uh, gilded the logos, you've reassembled the clarinet, and now you're all set and ready. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> 